Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of a basis and eigenspace. And yes, it'll be mysterious at first, and it may take a few more videos before we get the hang of what those things really are, but let's start with this video, the basis and eigenspaces. Start with a 2x2 two two matrix, A, as defined as such, and we know that to find the eigenvalues, we're going to take the determinant of the matrix A minus the unknown eigenvalues times the identity matrix, and we set that equal to zero. Keep it in mind that the eigenspace is what we call the union of the zero vector and all the eigenvectors associated with an eigenvalue. So we're going to find the eigenvalues, we'll pick one of those eigenvalues, then we'll find the eigenvector associated with that eigenvalue, and then we can define the concept of a base and an eigenspace. So first, let's find the eigenvalues. That's uh, the matrix A, that would be 10, minus 9, 6, minus 5. We subtract from that the unknown eigenvalues times the identity matrix, and we set that equal to 0. Of course, that becomes equal to 10, minus 9, 6, minus 5, and then we subtract from that a matrix that has the unknown eigenvalue on the diagonal we set that equal to 0. In essence, what we're trying to do here, oh, and of course, what we're going to do is we take the determinant of that and set it equal to 0. So let me go ahead and write it like that. So essentially, what we're trying to do is find the determinant of 10 minus lambda, minus 9, 6 and minus 5 minus lambda and set that equal to 0. That's essentially what we're trying to accomplish and that will help us find the unknown lambdas, the unknown eigenvalues. So when we multiply these across, we get 10 minus lambda multiply times minus 5 minus lambda and now subtract from the product here which is minus 6 times the minus 9. Set that equal to 0. So here, let's see, when we multiply the lambdas together, we get lambda squared. We have a minus 10 and a plus 5, that's a minus 5 lambda. And then we have a minus 50. And here we have a minus times a minus, that would be plus 54 equals 0. And simplifying that, we end up with that quadratic equation, lambda squared minus 5 lambda, and that would be plus 4 equals 0. We can factor that. And let's see here, that becomes uh, lambda minus 4 times lambda minus 1 equals 0. And here then you realize there's two possible eigenvalues. Let's call eigenvalue number 1, lambda 1, and that is equal to 4. And we have lambda 2, eigenvalue number 2, is equal to 1. So let's start with the first eigenvalue. We're going to find the associated basis and... Of course, that comes from finding the eigenvector. We're going to find the eigenvector, which then will define the basis and the eigenspace. Let's see here. How do we find the eigenvector? To find the eigenvectors associated with this eigenvalue, we'll do the following. We'll take the matrix. We'll take the matrix. 10 minus lambda minus 9. 6 minus 5 minus lambda. We multiply that times the eigenvector, which could be defined by x and y, or x1, x2, x3, and so forth. I'll just use x and y here, and we set that equal to the zero vector. In other words, we're now going to plug in this associated value for the eigenvalue. So we had 10 minus 4, minus 9, 6, minus 5, minus 4. And we multiply that times the eigenvector, x, y, which is what we're trying to find, and we set it equal to the zero vector. In other words, when we solve for this, we get 6 minus 9, 6 minus 9, times x and y, that equals the zero vector. Uh, should be a little bigger. There we go. Now, Whenever you have something like this where the two are exactly the same, we can say we can turn these into zeros because we can multiply this times the negative of this and add it to that. So with other words, this can then be reduced to 6 minus 9, 0, 0. And then we can write this as an augmented matrix, 0, 0, 
like this. And then if we take the top row and divide it by three, we get the following. So we get the matrix that would be two minus three, zero, 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 zero. In other words, the solution for this matrix then becomes 2x minus 3y is equal to 0. If we then move this across, we get 2x is equal to 3y. Okay, then to find the proper values for x and y, what we're going to do here is we can set x equal to 3 or we can set y equals to 2. So let's set y equal to 2. If y is equal to 2, then you get 2 times x is equal to 3 times 2 or x is equal to 3, which means that the proper eigenvector associated with this particular eigenvalue is the following. So here's the eigenvector, so we'll call this v1 is equal to. The eigenvector v1 associated with eigenvalue, lambda1, is equal to 3 and 2. Now, how does that relate to bases and eigenspaces. Now, it turns out that this vector here, V1, associated with this eigenvalue for this particular matrix, becomes the basis of this matrix. So this is what we call the basis of the associated eigenvalue and matrix A. So V1 forms the basis. And it also defines the eigenspace. So in other words, V1 defines the eigenspace of the original matrix A and the associated eigenvalue. Let's go back and review. Start with the matrix A. We found the eigenvalues using this principle right here. We then went to that and we found the two eigenvalues. We picked one of the two eigenvalues. It's equal to four. We use that value then to find the appropriate eigenvector associated with this eigenvalue, which we found here, V1, which then forms the basis. And V1 defines then, the basis then defines the eigenspace of A, that's the matrix A, and the associated eigenvalue, in this case, eigenvalue one here. And so that's the terminology we use regarding the basis and the eigenspace, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors of a matrix. Now in the next several videos, they'll become a little bit more clear as we see how we actually use those principles to define the matrices or the matrices as we're working with them here. And that's how it's done.